Joining me now here on the MMA Report is man, it's coming off a of victory this past weekend. UFC Vancouver, Lois Smoko got the win in the first round. TKO over Ryan McDonald. Lewis, uh, as always, man, I appreciate the time. How much of going to the body was a big part of the game plan in this one? Um, it was a big part of the game plan. Uh, he's a taller dude. Um, he had reach, so it was going to be kind of hard to get to his head. Uh, he could definitely keep us on the outside with straight punches and stuff. So we wanted to go to the body uh, early just to kind of confuse him and get as much damage in as possible. And, of course, uh, the stoppage comes, uh, you know, right as, as the first round was coming to an end. Uh, did anything Ryan did in the fight surprise you? Oh, um, not really. No, uh, nothing like shocked me too much. Um, we we're kind of ready for it. I mean, uh, he did good on, um, on like moving his legs out of the way. We we're trying to low kick him too because he didn't really defend the low kicks, but he did a good job of defending it. So, um, from because uh, his last fight he got low kicked a lot, so we we're gonna try to take advantage of that. But he did a good job of. Um, of like kind of keeping his legs at like uh like they were at weird angles for me to kick so um he did a good job i guess defending the low kicks uh after the fight was over you talked about uh you know having to go away for your family going to big bear to to train for this one um you, you know in terms of being away from the family i mean i, I think anybody can kind of relate to that but for you is it how how tough is that in terms of like is it kind of like just like do you feel like maybe sometimes you have to do that to be in full concentration of the fight? Um, it's just it was just a nice getaway, you know. Uh, it was like it was a really long camp, and I was just pretty like worn out and drained, you know, like mentally and physically. And so, going up to like a new area, just seeing some new things, is kind of refreshing, you know. It's a it's a beautiful place up there. And it was it was nice to kind of like just like like look at some new stuff, kind of be in nature, you know. And of course, you get the win, big big win for yourself. And I, I thought it was interesting you you talked about you know, hey, I kind of feel like I'm always fighting for my 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 job here. Um, is that is that good or bad pressure? Um, I don't know. I guess it, honestly, I think it's whatever whatever you can make of it. You know, um, it comes down to the person at that point. For me, it's like you know, it gets the better of me sometimes, but. I try to, you know, like just take my CBD and like let the anxiety go away and stay focused, you know. Dude, this fight, like right, like when I woke up in the morning, I was freaking the fuck out. Like I was freaking out. My heart was like beating through my chest. I was like, I was like, man, I can't even deal with this anymore. I need a new job. It's not the, it's not even the fight itself. It's the build up. It's the anticipation, the anxiety. I need a new job. I hate this. And I like, I was like, yo, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? And I took some CBD. I got the Miss Mary Jane's packets and I like dumped it in a little, in, a, in like a water bottle and I chugged it. And like immediately I felt my heart rate go down and I was like, mm -hmm. all right, I'm just done being a bitch. <laughs> Have you ever had that type of anticipation before? Yeah, no, it's, it's like that a lot. Um, this one was pretty bad, but you know, it's, it's like that a lot of the time. I'm a, I'm a big CBD user. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I, I take it every day. Uh, you know what? What in, and we obviously a lot of MMA fighters are you know use CBD you know daily. What 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 do you see as the biggest advantages for you in using CBD? Is it about the recovery? Yeah, it's the recovery and like the ability to kind of like keep you calm. You know, um, it doesn't really affect your sobriety too much. I would liken it to like if you lit up, like you know, like you come home and you're all stressed out or whatever traffic stuff. You like light a candle and like breathe in, and you're like, okay, I calm down a little bit. It's kind of like that, but like it doesn't go away when you leave the candle. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of just stays with you. That's kind of what I would liken it to. I was listening to Ben Folks where he was talking about a conversation he had with you and, and talking about, obviously, uh, you know, with, you know, quit drinking uh, alcohol. And he mentioned that kombucha was like the thing you turned to. What, what was it about kombucha that that got you to, to turn to it? Um, it was like there's like a little bit of alcohol in it. So it's like just enough to like it gives, it gives you like a little something, you know, like it's fermented, too. And like it just, I don't know. It just, it, it was just like something to drink. Honestly, it was like it had some sugar in it, like. But it was like it's sweet, but there's not too much sugar in it and stuff. It's just like it was just something to like to drink, you know, something else to like, to mess with. And uh, it's a probiotic, and um, 
Like it helped me while I was cutting weight, you know, and it's just something that stuck with me. Uh, obviously, you know, go up 35, you, you talked about, you know, how to just eat all the time to keep on this weight. And you mentioned about sometimes it's food that may not necessarily love to eat. What, so what's, what's the part of the diet that you just, you know, they feed it to you. You're just like, oh, I don't, I don't want to eat this. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just the portion size, you know, like, I like, I, I'm not a big breakfast guy. I've had to start eating breakfast. Like in the morning, I don't like eating breakfast. Like I just don't like okay. it. I normally get up right before practice and I don't want to eat right before I go work out. Like, I just don't want to do it. So like, I've been having to like find ways around that right now. I'm doing like protein shakes and like, um, like I'll have like a nature Valley bar or something and keep it light, but like, that's not really quite enough. So I got to go and eat more, you know? And it's just like, it's just, it's like, I just don't want to eat all that time. You know, I'm not used to eating breakfast. So I'm not used to eating constantly. It's just different. Is there any thoughts of go- of going back to twenty five? Uh, not really. I mean, it's 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 just like the last five or ten pounds really hard for me. Um, like for other guys, like I know there's people that weigh more than me. Like like Joe B, I think it's like one sixty or whatever, but like. For him, he's short, so he's cutting into, like, muscle and fat. I'm tall, so when I get down to the end of it, I'm, like, cutting into, like, bone and, like, organ, I feel like, because there's nothing else left. And it's, it's like, it's just, I don't really want to do it. Uh, and of course, uh, another win here, uh, you know, two uh, two uh, three here now for you. Uh, wh- when do you want the next fight to take place? Um, Ideally, I'd like to fight in, like, November. That'd be super cool if I could do that um that'd be a great like time for me i think i'd be like well rested healed up and ready to go any thoughts on who you want to fight next or is it just kind of like Uh, just send me the contract and let's go yeah i didn't really think uh too much about it um like i i don't know i've I've just been focused like for like the past like four months on ryan mcdonald like that was it like that's all i thought about and now it's just like yeah i want to fight again but I, i don't really know who you know and we look forward to seeing when that next fight may take place. Lewis, man, as always, I appreciate appreciate the time. Congratulations on the victory. Of course, let me know they can follow you out on social media and those sponsors that have been to help you out, man. Uh, yeah, thank you to uh, Miss Mary Jane CBD, uh, Cheap Fuel Energy, um, uh, Virus, uh, wearing their stuff right now, uh, Defend Hawaii, um, Defense Soap, uh, Citizen Water. They've been get they've been helping me out a lot too. Um, just everybody, man. Anyone I forgot, I'm so sorry. But like, just thank you everyone for you know for helping me out. Um, it's it's been a lot. You know, it's been a, it's been a rough journey coming up here and stuff. And just you know, I appreciate the support.